everybody welcome back to my craft room this is Kathy and you're here at Random Acts of Crafting and when I left y'all I was actually uh, stamping out some recipe cards for our recipe book and I want to show you how I'm going to attach these because um, I really think we need to come up with a system especially if you're if you're oh. making this for yourself it's one thing you can fill out the cards as you go and and then put them in there accordingly but if you're given this as a gift um, it is going to be very hard because I'm doing this I'm going to show you what I did I did uh, a few just to see how it was going to look and how it would fit in but this is and I put this in with a temporary adhesive because I did not want to stick these down but this is what I have in mind um, because can you imagine doing the waterfalls on this how many recipes we can get in here but these are stuck in with this temporary adhesive and they're not stuck very well and I did that for a purpose I want to be able to take these out now if you're making this as a gift for a daughter um, a daughter-in-law and you're filling it up with your family favorites you very easily can fill out your cards and then glue them in uh, but for the sake of time and trying to get this video done before Thanksgiving um, I am uh, I am trying to show you how to do the waterfall and a lot of you know how to do the waterfall we cut like I said we covered that in the Christmas album but I thought this was so cute and the last piece that I want to put up here um, I'm going to show you how I attach these and everything but I'm what I'm going to do first um, well, I, I'm getting ahead of myself let me start over <laughs> what I want to do is I want to cut a piece of solid paper and I want to either stamp it or run it through my printer and cut it and it's going to be a piece that's going to go over top of this and it's going to tell you what these recipes consist of like this is going to be in the back which is going to be my desserts so maybe this page is all pies so whenever you decide you want to make a pie you can just come to this page and flip through find the pie that you want to make I have a wonderful recipe for a sweet potato pie um, I know cheesecake isn't considered a pie, but you cut it out like a pie, so I put my cheesecake recipes in here. And so I have an apple pie that's awesome too. So I'm going to, oh, and a French silk pie. Let's not forget the chocolate girls. <laughs> but anyway, I, um, I want to do that. And each category of whatever those recipes consist of is what our top page is going to be, the very top uh, that will let you know what is falling under this waterfall and I think that would be a great way to organize our recipes so I'm going to lay this over out of the way and I am going to use some scraps I had some scraps left over like this and what I want to do is I want to cut those in pieces these are going to be the little attachments so let's pull out our trimmer and I found the easiest way to cut these is to cut, the, cut them crossways this is 11 and 11 and a half no 11 inch cardstock so this is 11 inches so I'm going to cut I know that my recipe cards are five inches across so I'm going to cut these at five oops, and five and I'm going to do a few of them because I know we're going to need quite a few to get all of our recipe cards in our book so I'm going to go ahead and cut a couple more of these so there we go, that's at five. And five. And you are going to have just a teeny bit of waste because you're going to have that one inch piece left over because this is 11 and five and five is 10. So you're going to have that one inch um, that will be a little throwaway piece. Or you can keep it because you never know when you're going to need a one inch piece to go on card. Um, but it's totally up to you. I've got um, quite a few of those one inch pieces like that from just different projects that I make. So I don't always keep all of those. But anyway, now that we've got these cut into five inches, we're going to need pieces that are one inch, a one inch strip. So I'm going to put this in and I'm going to cut this down in as many one inch strips as I can get. So there's one and I think we can get three strips out of this three one inch strips 
there we go there's two and so let's do the next one and like I said this is the uh, Brutus Monroe card stop no this one isn't this is coordination um, but it's still a very nice heavy card stock and I love I love a card stock that has some stability and feels rich I think that's it in a nutshell it always feels so rich when it's um, when it's a heavy weight and I think it adds so much to our cards too when our cards uh, feel uh, substantial they feel like they're um, I don't know that just having that weight to it I think but we're not doing cards today we are working on our recipe book so I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting these down um, and we'll be right back okay so we've got those pieces cut so now we are going to need our scoreboard because we're going to have to do some scoring. Um, and what I am going to do is, I'm going to lay them over here and I'm just going to grab them and put them up here. And we're just going to score these in half at a half an inch. Uh, let me find my... I'm going to use this because it just is easier to get up in here. And if it's if you're de dealing with a heavy card stock, you might want to just work this just like I'm doing. And you know, just what I like to do is I like to do all of my pieces at one time. So cut them all and then score them all, and then you can attach them all. So uh, this is not rocket science by no means. We are just putting this together and uh, having a little fun in the process so I love constructing I think it's one of the neatest things in paper crafting when you can construct things and make things work with paper so okay I'm not I'm gonna just um, I'm gonna do these uh, that's four let's do five I want I just want to do enough to show you how to do the waterfall and then the rest of the cookbook you can um, literally do it any way you want to but I just wanted to show you uh, how you can put these little tabs on and give your recipe cards what they need to um, I'm gonna lay my recipe cards right there I'm gonna lay these other strips over here because we need to work those up still and I am going to bring these over and I'm going to show you how I make these work. Let me get my little cutter B scissors and my bone folder. And I'm just going to fold these in half. And I am going to give them a good crease using my Teflon bone folder. You can use whatever bone folder you use. Or if you don't use a bone folder and you have scissors or a ruler, you know, just use what you got. And uh, just make sure you give these a really good crease. And especially if you're using a heavyweight cardstock like I'm doing, because that's going to be crucial to get these to lay down like you need them to. So just um, work them out. Give your upper body a little workout while you're folding. And there we go. Now, I just want to let y'all know I have had the worst time with computers. I bought a um, Dell computer last last year, and it was a nice computer. It had all um, um, all of the bells and whistles anybody would want. It was a huge hard drive. It had a 256 um, gigabyte solid state drive that was just for running the operating system on. Uh, it was like a 16 gig uh, RAM which uh, can hold as many programs as you want. So I, it was, I felt like I had a powerhouse of a computer but I had trouble with it from day one. And uh, so I had to call um, I actually bought it from Costco. We always get our, our electronics from Costco because they have such a good warranty program and they give you an extra year through them uh, for service on your computer. So I was on the phone with them a good por portion of the day yesterday trying to get some resolutions on my computer. I'm going to show you real quick what we're doing here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up to the corner of the, fo of the fold. So you want to cut to your fold line but don't cut cut it away you cut away on your opening side and again I think I told y'all last time that Susie Karst 
Casey or Carsey. I'm not sure how I pronounce her name. I always get it wrong, I'm sure. But she's the one that she taught me this, and I appreciate it so much because now I never struggle on these pieces. I used to struggle, which way do I cut? Which way do I cut? And I would end up cutting this way. But you never want to cut your your length off where your fold line is. So you always want to cut to the fold line, but not cut it away. And when she told me that, it was like the light bulb went off, and I have not had any trouble with these since then. But that's all we're going to do is we're just going to uh, wedge these out just like this. And remember, cut from the... You don't want to take any of the distance off from here because you need that to be your um, the length of your card. But anyway, I was on the phone with them for several um, hours yesterday, and I ended up having to... Um, um, redo my computer. See, I'm getting ready to do that wrong. Um, I ended up having to set my computer back to factory settings. So to say the least, I lost everything on my computer and started over. Now I did back up a few files on an external hard drive that I have, and uh, but it, that has definitely set me back on getting some videos out. Um, I want to let y'all know that I am going out of town next week and I do. I want my. I want to try my best to get some videos uh, pre-recorded and scheduled to go up while I'm away, so that y'all have a little something um, to watch, and hopefully nobody will forget me in the process. So that would be a good thing. Uh, so I am going to work to try to do that. Okay, enough of my chit chat. Let's get back to our work at hand. Now to put these on I am using art glitter glue and all you want to do is put some right on the side like that and bring this all the way up to the top just like that. So I'm going to put one on and then I will finish the, finish these off camera and then we'll just meet back up here. But all I'm going to do is just take some art glitter glue, scrub it on this piece, making sure I get the edges pretty good. Make sure you look at your card because you do not want to put these on the wrong way. So make sure that if you're putting it to the top that it is in fact the top of your recipe card like that. And then just press that down and that will adhere and now you have this nice little tab to use to put your waterfall in. So uh, I think these little tabs work so good um, and if I had thought about it I would have when I stamped these out I would have given myself a little extra up there and then we could have just scored and folded. But since I didn't, I'm doing a little bit of extra work, but also hopefully this is teaching you how to do this extra in case you're ever working with something that you don't have a tab up there for. You can make it. You can make it work by just making your own tab. So that's that one. We'll be right back and I'll get these glued down and then we'll come back and we'll put them in the album or the cookbook. Be right back. I want to see if this will come off a little bit, and it is. Just the part that's sticking over top of my recipe card. I don't mind what's going to the back, but I don't want this hanging over the front. Because it's unlike my uh, double-sided tape, this stuff does not want to... And I know they make it like this so you can take it up, but... Okay, I think that'll work. And let's go ahead and get this just like that. And we're going to butt this one up just like we did the others. And squish it down. And go ahead and get in there with your bone folder because like I said, you really want to make sure that these have a very good um, and this is what our cards are going to look like. I just love this. I think it's so, so cute to do our album like this. I love it. This one. And there we go. And you want to go back and look and make sure that everything is um, like it should be and press it down again. No harm in that. Alright, 
So now the piece that I made, this little piece right here, is going to live just like that. And we will know that all, every recipe underneath this tab are pies. I think it's so cute. I love it. I think it's coming together. And uh, I sure hope that y'all make this book. I do know that if you do, I want to see it. So y'all make sure you go over to our Facebook group, Random Acts of Crafting by Kathy Champion. On Facebook, look us up. Uh, click the little Join button. And... Uh, one of us will get to you and uh, accept you. You'll have to answer a few questions, whether you uh, subscribe or follow me on YouTube, which if you're watching this video, I would say you do. So um, I think it'll just be, it's a nice little family atmosphere. So now I need to figure out how I want this to close, or do I want it to close? I might just leave that because I think it's going to be hard to get a closure on it. Let's try a magnet and see if a magnet will work. I am not sure that it will, but we can certainly try it. Um, that's if I can find my magnets. Okay, these little magnets are so great, and they come, if you notice, it comes with a plus and a minus. So you're going to need a plus and a minus in order to get this to work. And let's see if I can, oh, it might help if I take that off. Then they just pop right out. Oh. See that one adhered to the to the plot to the negative right there. That is not what you want it to do. Let's see if we can pop out this plus. And I got it. And what we're gonna want it to do is probably live right there. And let's see if we put this one. Oops. Huh? They attracted. These are the strongest little tiny magnets ever. So let's see if we put. Well, I am just all butterfingers. I'm going to try it. Um, if all else fails, we can take them off. But I'm going to try it. So what I'm going to do, and I'm bringing this down where I hope you can see it. I'm going to decide where I want this magnet to live on here. And I want it to be right about there. Actually, you know what? Uh, that's okay. It's stuck now. Let's go ahead and I'm going to try to make a little bit of impression right there so I will know where I need to put that magnet. Let's see if it did it. I'm thinking it's going to be Right about there. What I should have done was put the bottom magnet down first. I'm going to try to pull that up. I did it. I did it. Okay. Now let's put this one right about here. I'm going to bend this up just a little bit. All this under just enough so we can see if we can get that. Mm, that's not going to work either. Okay, we're just going to have to guess at it and hope we get it right. So that one is there. And let's hope this one is here. It's hard to do it when you got layers. I should have I should have put the magnets on before that. And see, I don't think it's going to go through those layers anyway. Maybe if we move it down to about there. Let's see if we can move this one down to about here. Oh, and it worked. <laughs> well, I got lucky on that one. <laughs> but anyway, that is one of our pages. Now, how stinking cute is this? You're going to know that all of your pie recipes. Now, if you want to camouflage that little um, magnet, let me show you how easy it is to camouflage. Um, if you take your small punch, and let's see, that's a scallop, but I'm going to find my little punch. That's a one inch. That's a little bit too big. 
here's our little three quarter inch punch and this is perfect um, it makes the perfect little circle that will cover that so just go in with your piece of paper let's see I have another little piece this will work I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go as close to the edge as I can get and I'm just going to punch out a little a little round like that and you can glue that on now sometimes when you're dealing with stuff that's this thick it may not it may not close with that piece on it it doesn't bother me to have the magnet showing but if it does bother you this is the way you can cover it you can put a piece here you can put a piece there but you are going to you are going to be covering the magnet where you may not be able to get the the um, closure that you want so that I just wanted to show you I'm going to leave mine like that because I think it's going to be fine um, it's it's a cookbook it's um it's it's going to work so anyway all right this basically lets us know what we're doing we're, I'm going to show you how to do the insert that can go in here and then we're going to do some decorations. Um, this little this little piece right here is so stinking cute. Let's see if we can find a little sticker. And I like this one because it has a pie on it. And this came off of my sticker sheet. So I'm just going to stick that down right there. Because I think that's cute. We have a pie. I also want to do a page. And let's do that. Let's do that out of this red. I think that would be cute. Um, and we know we need this cut down to 8. Probably 8 by 5. So let's, let's see what we can get here. And so I'm going to do it 5 inches this way. And I'm, I don't have this on an even surface because I haven't moved my scoreboard. So we're going to go 5 five this way and we're going to do it eight this way. We can always trim it down a little bit more if we need to. But let's see if that will fit in our book. So now we have this which we can also put some more recipes on and see that's going to stick out just like that and I think that is so pretty. Um, we also have these other recipe cards. Let me see if I can find them. I have my whole stack of stuff down here beside my uh, chair, so it makes it a little bit hard <laughs> to get to everything, but um, Okay, I know I got those recipe cards somewhere here. Let's see, maybe we stuck them right here. Yep. And I think this is them. Yep. Okay, so we have these bigger cards that would be so cute adhered on here. Just like that. And I am going to stick this one on with just some of this um, low tack because I can come back and take this off and write my recipe on it. And then once I do that, I will uh, glue it on permanently. But that's cute right there. So this is what you want to do. You want to go through and make the album yours by putting your recipe cards in. You can go online and get some recipe cards. You can also, uh, a waterfall right here would be cute. And then you can put another title on it. Um, you know, like I said, there's just endless possibilities. But please remember, when you're doing your waterfalls, it's so much easier to keep them um, even. For me, it is. If I work them from the bottom up, and then make sure you leave enough of room there if you want to do the little belly band over it. Look at this. This is just too cute. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to get all of my pages in here and get this completed. And when I do, I will definitely come back and do a walkthrough on this album. I'm going to do some embellishments on the front. But for right now, because we are coming up on the, 
Thanksgiving, I'm just dropping stuff everywhere. We are approaching our Thanksgiving holiday. So many of us are going to be going out of town. A lot of us are going to be busy with our cooking and um, getting our house ready for our, our company and things like that. So I know that we may be limited with time for crafting, but um, please um, give this book a try. If you have any questions about this book and how to, how to put it together, um, please email me. All of my information is in the description below. I always put a link to my store. Okay, everybody, I have been working on my cookbook on and off. Of course, I've gotten some interruptions as we do when we are at home, and I am at home. Um, but I want to I go back to where we were at. We made this, um, this uh, page right here, and we have enough of room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you could put another recipe right here. So you could have ten pie recipes on this one page, which I think is fantastic. I also um, went in with some papers like this and made these inserts. This would be great for notes, um, so maybe some memories. This would be like a journaling page. If you wanted to make some notes about maybe making cookies or, or pies, I, I have fond memories of making pies with my grandmother, so that would be a place for me to do that. Or if you were doing cookies, maybe making cookies with your children, uh, nieces, nephews, grandchildren, whatever. That would be a great place for that. And I have another one. I haven't put a white strip on that one yet, but I plan on going back and doing that. Now, what else I did is I made this page with my with a, a band like this, and I am going to stamp on here. I'm, I'm going to put this probably maybe right here, and it's going to say Grandma's RE, which is recipe, and I'm going to find a way to stamp or put cookies on here because I really want this to be cookie recipes because you got the little girl sitting beside the old-fashioned oven and I think that is so cute so that is definitely going to go there and I'm going to stamp but for right now I'm just going to put a piece of um, it helps if I open it a piece of this temporary adhesive on it because I know I want this to go right about here okay so that that page is done um, this page right here is the first page because remember we've got nine sections or three sections so we have one two three that's going to be main dishes and then one two three that's going to be side dishes and then one um, two and three which is going to be desserts so this is the first page of my dessert recipe so I'm going to actually make a waterfall in here that's going to be cakes so anything that's a cake will go in there, cookies, and pies. And you know, you've got uh, another page back here, you could do candies or miscellaneous, and that would be a great place, like if you have Divinity, um, Divinity, I'm sorry, I said that right, wrong, Divinity, um, coconut balls, um, fudge, um, peanut butter balls. I know at Christmas I make rum balls, peanut butter balls, and um, I even had a recipe that I tried one time for orange balls that were delicious. But I always make some different types of candy. I also have a crock pot candy recipe. So I would probably put those back here in my miscellaneous. But I'm just trying to show you how you can break this uh, album up. I also uh, put some embellishments on here. I put another insert here. Uh, and I thought this love being in my kitchen and look at that. These were all stickers off of the sticker page. Let me pull this over so you can see. This page right here, I think I'm going to do a waterfall under here. And I'm actually thinking about putting two recipe cards here and then a waterfall here. And this will be actually in our um, side dishes. Yeah, this will be side dishes. So, um, so right here on this page, one, two, and three, this I need to do side dishes here. So I want to do side dishes and breads because this last page back here, I definitely want to dedicate it to some breads because I have recipes for cornbread, biscuits, and um, 
yeast rolls, and those are our tried and true family favorites. So I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna make a space for those. And then this very front page, we're gonna put something on here with um, main dishes, entrees, and that's gonna be our family favorites of like my lasagna, um, spaghetti and meatballs, which is basically like my lasagna recipe. I use the same sauce for all of it. Uh, some other things that I love to make, my kids love cube steak and gravy. Uh, my husband is very fond of my meatloaf. Um, uh, I'm, 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 I'm just kind of rambling now with some of the re recipes. Also, I do a chicken fajita recipe that my husband absolutely adores. Um, things like that. My side dishes, I'm going to do this one with broccoli casserole, um, mac and cheese, um, mashed potatoes. And you might say you don't need a recipe for mashed potatoes, but really, you do. If you will run your potatoes through a ricer, if you have a, a, a food sieve or a food mill where you can kind of wind it and then you push it back and it pushes the potatoes through, they are so fine and so fluffy if you do them like that. Melt your butter in the microwave with about a half a cup of heavy whip, whipping cream and you pour that over top of those potatoes and then use um, take a nice big wooden spoon and just fold that in salt and pepper and oh my goodness they are delicious but that's the place that I'm going to put recipes like that I'm hoping that this because I did put family recipes on the front of this and I'm hoping that this is a recipe book that will be passed down to my girls um, and uh, I, I think it's I think it's just a wonderful place to showcase your family favorites. Or you could do if you wanted to. I made this. I went onto my computer. I downloaded this font because this is a font that I love. It's called Black Chancery, and it is a free font. All you have to do is search for it, and I'll put that in the link below. And I printed it out on my printer, and then I took a little um. Mm, what did I do with my? I think I already put them away, but I took a little framelit die and I ran this through my die cut. I went back and I distressed it with a little bit of the um, vintage photo ink and I also went around this to make it look a little bit more distressed and it's still a work in progress and I am having so much fun um, doing this. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see me move on to something different and that you pretty much got this and I will go with the consensus if, if y'all feel like that you're ready for me to move on to something else and you pretty much think you can carry this on with the information and everything I've given you I, I could so be ready to move on. I have this beautiful little ornament that's coming up uh, I've already, um, this is on a wooden block uh, one of the little um, branches and this is coming up in an upcoming video so that will post but I figured everybody was really wanting this recipe book uh, to come to come full circle so that's why I've been really concentrating on it but uh, I just want to thank you all for joining me and on this recipe book adventure it has been so much fun and what, what thrills me so much is I have a beautiful cookbook that I am proud to display in my kitchen and oh my goodness how precious is this cookbook going to be once I get all of my recipes in it I cannot wait so let me know if you want me to move on to something else and we can always come back to this but uh, some of you may want to catch up to where I'm at and then after the Thanksgiving holiday I can come back and do uh, maybe two more videos on finishing this book. But anyway, I just want to thank you all so much for tuning in. I want to thank you for your love and your support. Do not forget that if you want this paper pack, and it is um, homemade with love. I'm trying to find my front cover so I can show it to you. Um, and I know I have it right here. So just, here, no, that's not it. Oh, shoot. Here we go. 
Homemade with Love is the paper pack. And there's the front cover of it. And if you want this paper pack, I only have about two or three left in my store. So, and this is a hard pack to get in stock. So if you want this paper pack, please go and grab it up now because they're, once they're gone, they're gonna be gone. So if you are interested in getting this paper pack, uh, head over to my store. It is www randomactsofcrafting.com and uh, um, we do ship out daily so it, depending on what method you use for payment if you choose media mail it's going to come much slower but you're going to pay a whole lot less in shipping if you do priority you'll probably get it within two days but the shipping will be uh, a little more so that option I put that option out there for people so they can choose their um, budget for shipping and uh, so you let me know so don't you know I'm, I want to let y'all know that for people that has ordered and um, that maybe it took longer than they expected to get their order I know some orders I shipped out this week are going to be delivered tomorrow because uh, I do I do the tracking on all the orders as I ship them out so if you're ever wondering about your order uh, I do offer you tracking but if you are um, you still want to know about where your package is uh, contact me through email and I'll be more than glad to check on that and and I'll shoot you out an email and let you know where your package is and when it is due to be delivered. So anyway, I just want to say God bless you all. Thank you so much for uh, being with me through the journey of the album. It's not done yet. This recipe book is still a work in progress. I did uh, pull my May May stamp set. I'm going to be coloring and cutting out some of these pieces and they are going to be going into the book as uh, embellishments and this is the what's cooking uh, stamp set from May May. Um, let me lay it on a cardstock so you can see it a little bit better but I love the stamp set. It's got salads, dishes, desserts, appetizers, sides, main. It's got places where you can make your own recipe cards. It is fantastic. This is a cute little um, stamp set that you could use definitely use and I'll link the I'll give you a link at the in the bottom uh, in this description where you can pick this up and if you would purchase this through my link I get a little bit of a kickback from May May because I am an, I do have an affiliate link with her because I do use a lot of her products as y'all well know even though I have my own store I still I love May May stamp sets and I will always be a loyal customer of hers where her stamp sets are concerned in the same way with Tracy and Bill uh, and I do shop from my um, my fellow crafter and YouTubers that have that have um, stores because I think we need to support one another. So anyway, I want to close for now and just thank you so much for being a part of my family, my crafty family, and I love you all so very much. And God bless you and everything that you do and say. Let it bring glory to our Lord because he is so worthy. He gave up his life and his his home and glory to come and live amongst men and women and he died for us. So um, I want to always live my life for him and I always want to have a testimony and tell you his goodness that he has shown in my life. I cannot, I can't express it enough. So God bless until we meet again. Let everything you do and say bring glory to God. He is worthy. Bye-bye. Thank you.